Okay, Johan Jartersson. Thank you for coming. Um, first, tell us about your comeback and why, your successful comeback and why. Well, I'm just playing for, for fun. I, yeah. I've been working as a lawyer in a firm for mm -hmm. 20 years and, and, and there's been a lot of work. So now I have finally a little bit more time. So I decided to... You stopped working? No, I, I'm still working, okay. but, but it's a little bit more quiet than okay. it used to be. So I decided to take some yeah. time, made arrangements with my boss that I could play a little bit more. Yeah. get some extra time for that. And you won the Icelandic Championship last year. Yes. And now the Nordic Championship ahead of Nils Kandelius and other young grandmasters. Yes, that came as a big surprise. Uh, for you? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just playing for fun and I don't really have yes. many ambitions anymore. And, and in a way that helps you, so yes. you feel less stressed. You just want to play nice games and nice moves. Yes. Chess is a, maybe a very difficult uh, profession, but it's a nice hobby. Um, tell me, when you were young, mm. you were very successful, we should come to that later maybe. Yeah. Uh, did you consider chess professional or civ civilian career? Or kind of uh, both. I, I went to university and, and, yeah. uh, and studied law and finished with a law degree. Basically, at the same time, I was playing as a professional. Oh, yes. So, the plan was always to uh, start the uh, yeah. legal career at some point. And then yeah. came the time when I was uh, almost 35 that I thought it was about time to work, start working as a lawyer because it's difficult uh, if, if you wait too long yes, to establish course. a new career. At 35, what was that compared to your? Chess when you were in the candidates? And yes, so I, I was uh, qualified for the candidates by winning yeah. the Intersonal in yeah. 1987, and then I played the, this match with Korsner. Which following. you won? Yes, yeah. and then I lost to Karpov in the yeah. beginning of 89. And then it was in uh, at the end of uh, 1997 that I decided to uh, start the, the legal career. Okay, okay. And I know you also won a number of Icelandic championships in those years. Yes, I think uh, six of them. Six times, okay. Yeah, the first time when I was 17 and, and the last one last year, 36 yes. years later. So it's, yes. a, it's been a long time. Uh, do you feel that chess has changed? Of course, yeah. How? Well, I think with uh, computers yes. everything has changed. And yeah. And in a way, it's it's more interesting, and every everyone can now compete on equal grounds because yeah. you have everyone has the same access to information. All the games. <laughs> yeah, it's not like in the old days when, when the Russians had a preferential access yeah. to all the information. Do you like it today as much as you did? Oh then? yes, I think in in many ways chess is more interesting with the computers. Obviously, yeah. you you and. It's easier, I guess, to prepare because you always yes. really have a partner. So uh, it's certainly uh, very interesting. Maybe the only drawback is that uh, there is so much, you know, theory and knowledge yeah. that many lines are almost uh, analyzed uh, till the very end, ex yeah. ex exhaustively. Like for instance, the Marshall Gambit, you know, it's more or less a forced yes. draw in all yes. lines. You need to change your openings from game to game. Yeah, you have to do that. Yeah. And probably you need different qualities nowadays to be a, a top player than when I was growing up, because okay. uh, obviously you need to be able to work with the computers. Yeah. And yeah. So that's very important. Probably memory is more important than it used to be, to memorize maybe, yeah, all these maybe. lines. So there are maybe different are you, are you impressed by the young players today? I mean, Magnus Carlsen generation. Yeah, of course, yeah. They are, ch chess is increasingly becoming a sport for the young, I, yeah. I would say. You know, okay, okay. in the old days, the maybe preferred uh, age of the world champion was somewhere between 35 and 45. Yes. But that has changed. You also need to be in a good physical yes. shape 
there's yeah. shorter time controls and, and yes. fewer rest days, you know, it's just like everything today, the time is basically moving faster than yes. it. Everything is fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, going back, how, how was it to be Korsnoy? He was a legend through decades. Uh, yeah, no, that obviously. How did you do it? Well, with, with good good preparation and, and okay. he was of course a little bit past his prime at this this time. Yes, but and still very strong. Yeah, still very strong and probably he underestimated me, underestimated me uh, I think that was uh, part yeah. of the reason. He was uh, probably thought he would win easily, he was very experienced yeah. in, in playing matches. So, but I was always uh, quite optimistic i had uh, I prepared very very well for this match okay yeah. for instance in the first yes. game for instance i basically refuted his favorite line with okay, yeah. good opening analysis wow. so when during that match did you think i will win well i won the first game yes. and and, and uh, the fourth game if i remember correctly and it was a very short yeah. match only with six games so I was already two points ahead early on, but then I lost game five and six, so oh, it was tight. I didn't so, remember. <laughs> no, it was a very stressful situation. So then we played two additional games. The seventh was a draw, and then in the eighth game, I I, I managed to win with the, the black pieces. He cool. sort of uh, overestimated his chances okay. and made a blunder. Yeah. But I I could feel he was very very confident that that okay. point he was sort of sure he would win so yeah, okay. it's always a dangerous situation because he had to come back and yeah, yeah he yeah. had won the, yeah. I won the game five and six quite easily outplayed me completely so it was a difficult situation yeah. for me interesting which players from that period impressed you at that time or maybe thinking back today yeah well uh, there were many strong players of course obviously Carpo and Kasparov yes, maybe yes maybe Carpo had the biggest influence on my play okay, because yeah. he was the world champion when I was yeah. sort of uh, you were coming up. up yeah. And there were fantastic players also in the West like uh, Short and uh, Timan yeah. who are yeah. both here. They were yeah. really the yeah. <laughs> best of the West if you like. Yes. So, uh, and Iceland is such a strong chess nation. Not, why? Why is that? Well, not Many anymore. Masters, not, not anymore, anymore unfortunately. It's somehow, uh, when my generation, uh, we, we were sometimes referred as the Gang of Four, myself, Helge Olofsson, yeah. Marki Peterson and Jonet Ladnason, uh, we sort of for, formed the core of the Olympic team. Yeah. When we yeah. quit, nobody really came to okay. replace us. So, unfortunately today, Iceland is is not uh, it's declining. Uh, it has declined, and yes. so it's it's a, a legend, of course. That it, okay, we have many grandmasters, but uh, but no yeah. top grandmasters, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. But you had this match in '72 when Fisher was there at his yeah. old days. And did you meet him more? Uh, I, at that time, obviously, I was only nine years old, so I went to one of the games. Yeah, in '72. Yeah. Yeah, but I thought. But later, later on, yeah. yes, I I met him a, a few times, but I must admit that it was not very pleasant. He no. obviously had very strange yeah, ideas yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. all this ranting about the Jews and all that stuff. Yeah. It really yeah. got on your nerves. Pre-arranged nerves. games and things. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it was unfortunately. Uh, in a way, a rather sad a experience sad, to, sad to see how. Um, let's look ahead. You qualified for the World Cup by yes. winning the Nordic Championship. Yes. You're looking forward to that. Obviously, yeah. The complete World Elite bit will be there. And yes, and, and I, I really favor the knockout system because if you're not playing yes. well, the suffering is over very quickly. <laughs> so that uh, suits, right. suits me quite well. And maybe a more gambling uh, way of a tournament than... Uh, yes, yes. So obviously it's more exciting and anything can happen. You know, it's only yeah. two games and then, okay, tie breaks with shorter time control, so... So anything. how will you prepare? Well, just... Uh, uh, 
as usual. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think maybe an important aspect is to to be in good physical shape. It's becoming yes. so important, particularly uh, yes. in your old age. You know, it's it's really getting difficult to play I, long I games. <laughs> Yeah, because you know in chess you need to uh, keep the concentration yes, for many hours. Yeah, for many hours. Yeah. This is very difficult when you grow older. But we will wish you all the best luck. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you.